My name is John Travis and this is an Oyster 72 built in 2010 in the UK. Oyster yachts are known as some of the most luxurious and capable cruisers on the market. The British manufacturing company was founded in 1973. They build handcrafted yachts from 56 feet to 125 feet. John was nice enough to invite me on board to give me a tour that I can share with you. So let's talk to John and learn more about this beautiful Oyster 72. So I grew up in New Jersey on the East Coast, uh, youngest of six in a sailing community. Our whole family sailed, my cousin sailed, and um, it was, you couldn't avoid it. It was actually my sister, my oldest sister, uh, KT, was the one who took me out on a little sunfish, and um, she couldn't have been more than, you know, 17 years old. We had um, sunfishes and blue jays and uh, we had a force five which came after the laser and then uh, when I went to college I sailed on my college sailing team and then after that I moved to Chicago and did a lot of uh, a lot of laser sailing mostly one design stuff etchels uh, j24s and you know as you get older and um, you start moving into the big boats more and um, as of recent I've been sailing on the j111s since 2013. My buddy had this boat up in Rhode Island and he's like, hey, I need to get this down to, to Puerto Rico. And I'm like, that sounds like a good idea. I'll do it. So I went up there uh, on October 5th of uh, 2020 and lived on the boat for a month um, just to learn it. You know, this is a big boat. There's a lot of systems. You have to learn the systems, how everything works. And so I spent a month on there and then called some buddies from Chicago to help me bring her down. And uh, we left on November 7th. And uh, it took us about seven days, which was pretty quick. We averaged about 10 knots. This particular boat was, um, as I said before, was built in 2010 in Southampton. And um, the original owner had it. Um, over in Annapolis for a while and then moved it up to Newport and then it sat for quite a while. She's uh, 72 and a half feet um, with I think a waterline of 65 maybe, uh, 3,300 square feet of sail. She's a cutter rig which means um, she has a staysail and a full jenny which uh, is 150 percent overlapping jenny. She has a Park Avenue boom which is you know, I think it's 28 feet long, um, which means Park Avenue movement. You you walk in it to put put the sails away and uh, a full keel, um, and I think she weighs about 75,000 pounds. And um, yeah, she cruises real nice, uh, comfortably. If we're motoring, probably about eight knots at. 1700 rpms this boat loves it'll always go 10 knots it always just seems because in well, the one thing i learned about this boat pretty quick it likes a lot of wind and it can handle big seas no problem we saw this um on our way down from rhode island uh the last two and a half days we had sustained 30 knots of breeze gust to 40 um and the boat handled like a dream. It was pretty amazing. And uh, when you're out here in Fajardo Bay, it's it's always 15 knots. Typically, you'll easily get a 20 knot day, no problem. And this boat is handled so well. We have the boat here uh, down in uh, Puerto del Rey in Fajardo, Puerto Rico. Uh, it's available for charter. Um, it sleeps six comfortably, uh, not including the captain and crew. So uh, we have crew quarters for for, uh, for that and um, it's available and you can uh, check that out on our website. A lot of people like to do day charters here. Uh, my personal opinion is uh, a weekend would be perfect because in Puerto Rico we have all these beautiful islands within 20 to 40 miles of where we are and so my ideal trip would be a Friday to a Sunday. You know, you can explore different islands. You can all get you can get all the way over to St. John's, no problem, and make it back. And you know, it's just I think the nighttime being on a boat, it's man, it's magical. All right, yeah. you ready to go uh, film a tour of it? Sure. All right. All right, John. Thanks for having me aboard today. Absolutely. Um, My let's, pleasure. Let's uh, give me a tour. I know you're doing some work on you wanted to cover protect yeah. the teak and all that. So. I was uh, just cleaning out this sail locker. Decided to. Uh, cover the deck with a little plastic so we don't damage any of the teak and uh, yeah but up here in the bow we have our our full jenny it's 100 percent 150 percent overlapping jenny with our Reckman uh, roller furling system we have our uh, lumar windlass 
133 feet of chain. Um, and then we have, this is a, as I explained before, it's a cutter rig, which is this staysail here, also a Reckman hydraulic roller furling. So coming back here to the mast, now that's a yeah. carbon fiber mast, right? Yeah, it's about uh, 98 feet up in the air and um, full carbon rig, new standing rigging. Uh, as I mentioned before, this is our Park Avenue boom, which is also uh, carbon fiber. And this is our raised salon area, which is what Oyster is known for. Uh, so it gives you plenty of plenty of headroom down below. And um, our Bimini and uh, Dodger are uh, made by Dolphin, which is a fabulous company and, and uh, keeps us really well protected in heavy seas. So we have uh, our electric winches up here. Uh, by the mast for our halyards and we have uh, a primary and secondary back here for our uh, jib sheets um, and they run on two different speeds uh, up here and as well as back there. All of our halyard systems are run here from the uh, from the mast. The uh, only thing that's led aft are our sheets and our preventer line. Um, other than that everything uh, that we do for our sales are up here on, up front. Let's head aft back into the, the salon here, or not, uh, to the uh, cockpit. Sure. The cockpit here, it's really spacious. I mean, what's the yeah. beam on this boat anyway? This beam's about just under 20 feet, about 19 and a half feet. Okay. Um, and this this whole table opens up. You can sit 10 people here easily. Uh, this is a freezer here and a cooler here for uh, you know cold drinks. Um, and we have a, a boom light here, so this whole area will light up really nice. And we have lights here that come up. It's a, it's a really, really comfortable place to be, especially with our bimini up if it's too hot. And uh, if we want to let a cool breeze come through, we can uh, lower this panel and open that up and you get a nice breeze coming through without without the beating sun. So, well, so you have the, the main sheet winches are up there. They're huge. Uh, th those are the jib sheets. Oh, jib sheets. Yeah. That's what, I'm sorry, that's what I meant, jib sheets. That's right. So you have, you have your primary. Uh, that would be for the Genoa. And this secondary would be for the staysail and then when we're running uh when we're running spinnaker lines we would go to the primaries for that the boat has twin helms with carbon fiber wheels all the electronics and bow thruster controls so here we have our uh, main sheet and the winch is electric you can also override it with a winch handle and this is our uh our traveler winch which is not electric it's just manual this black line is actually pretty important it's called the preventer and when you're off the breeze and your boom is out this line's going to go forward and prevent the boom from swinging back or if you accidentally jive this is going to hold it off and when you see the size of this boom later you're going to say you want the preventer on all the time. <laughs> all right, so back here on the transom, a uh, nice walk up, walk through transom. Yeah, this mm. is uh, our davits back here, which hold our tender. Um, and then we have a little uh, shower back here for when people are, when they're done swimming, they can rinse off. Um, and we have a deck courtesy light. So at night we can kind of shine the area up really nicely. And this is a nice, this is a nice place to sit actually when you're under sail because you get a, a beautiful view of the whole water line as you're going upwind. It was time to go below and see the beautiful interior. So I think this is where you really feel the beam of the boat is in this main yeah. salon because it's yeah. really big in here. Yeah, it's beautiful. Um, Oyster's known for this uh, raised salon and these windows open up this one and this one and it lets a bunch of fresh air come flying through. This table actually expands and opens up. We get, we've we easily sat 10 people here, super comfortable. Um, we have our nav station right here with all our control panels on that side and um, you know, this is a great, a great gathering space when you don't want to be outside and you want to get a little AC and cool down. We have all, all our Ray Marine equipment here and our, our uh, Plotter. We have another plotter over here on this main computer. Uh, this is our, our our station with all our breakers, that, which controls all of the, our sink pumps and lighting and things like that. And this is our other breaker panel for our ACs and other other systems that we're running on the ship. So the master cab's in the back, and that's yeah. pretty nice. Let's go forward first, and we'll save that for last okay. into the galley and the forward cab. Got it. We'll go to the forward cabin. So here's our forward cabin. It sleeps too comfortably here. And actually, 
Uh, right here, a little a little bunk can come out. So if you have another guest who wants to sleep on a bunk that's raised up a little bit, there's a full head with a shower uh, uh, forward, and you know obviously lots of uh, lots of storage for clothes and other things like that. All right, uh, so into the galley here, uh, yeah. it's a lot of space in here. It's a great galley. If you like to cook, um, and which I do, this galley is phenomenal. Um, we have. We have a full uh, gimbaled stove with an oven, a microwave. Um, the equipment in the galley is what I love. There's, you know, all the right pots and pans and knives and spices and uh, plating, so you can really dress up the, the table really nice. We have a, a little cooler here, a refrigerator behind you, um, a full freezer, uh, chest right here two dishwashers, an ice maker. Um, yeah, you can, it's a small space, but it's very efficient and you can put up some phenomenal meals here. So is this like for serving yeah. or? Okay. Well, the, no, no, this is a, a fire exit. Okay. So part of safety, you have to have two exits, one forward and one you'll see down in the, um, in the aft cabin. owner's court. Okay. Quarter shop. All right, well then uh, let's go aft and check out some of the cabins, Victor. Sure. The first cabin here is the crew cabin and of course storage, but that's yeah, uh, right everybody now, doing that. Right, right now I have a little storage. Uh, things kind of set away. It's a double bunk bed here and um, that would be where the crew would sleep when we have full full guests. Just because it is a little easier to film with the GoPro on tight, space is going to do that. So then you have a pretty good size uh, head yeah, right here. This is a great head. Um, it's a full head with a shower and uh, which you would share with this cabin here on the port side and the crew quarters would probably share that as well. Right. And what is that cabin there? Yeah, this is a full cabin, uh, another guest cabin. Easily sleeps too, obviously, and uh, lots of storage. Um, one thing I forgot to mention, there's a television in every cabin. All the way aft here, we have, I guess, the master cabin here. Yeah, this is a beautiful, beautiful space. Um, you have a desk uh, area here, obviously a beautiful, a beautiful sleeping quarters. Lots of uh, fresh air comes in through the double hatches here. Uh, plenty of storage for your clothes and the head is uh, pretty spacious. Yeah, and it's, I like how it's got, uh, you know, the walk, double walk around yeah. all that, which is always nice. It's, well, with the boat, this beamy. <laughs> you, yeah, you get the whole beam back yeah, here. Yeah, right? which is nice, yeah. All 19 feet. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Nice place to hang out. Absolutely. All right, John, well, thanks for having me aboard, yeah, man. absolutely. Thank uh, you, and uh, hopefully we can actually come, you can come here and sail yeah. with us. Yeah. Hey, next time you take it out, let me know. I'll absolutely. be in Puerto Rico for a while, so yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, next, that'd be, be fun to do. So. Absolutely looking forward and, uh, to it. And thanks for dinner last night, too, so. Yeah. All right, all right. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you're liking, if you'd like to see more of this content again, like the boat tour stuff, leave me a comment down below, and uh, see you later, guys.